Hi, I'm Jay Robinson. I started the intensive camp program 40 years ago. The intensive camp is a place where you learn by doing, where you actually have to do the work on a daily basis. Everything here at camp is done for a reason. And we have 40 years to back up the reason why we do it. Right now, you're gonna get a chance to listen to Garrett Garness, our Director of Wrestling Operations, as he talks you through the day in the life of an intensive camper. Hey guys, I'm Garrett Garness and I'm the Director of Wrestling Operations for Jay Robinson Intensive Camps. I'm at every day of the intensive camp monitoring the day-to-day -day operations. So let's get started. At camp, we have early wake-up calls every morning to challenge the campers both physically and mentally. There is a saying that we often refer to at camp, and it goes, every morning in Africa, a gazelle wakes up. It knows that it must run faster than the fastest lion or it will be killed. Every morning, a lion wakes up. It knows it must outrun the slowest gazelle or it will starve. It doesn't matter whether you are a lion or a gazelle. When the sun comes up, you better be running. This attitude develops discipline, which is doing things even when you don't want to do them. That's why we wake up with the sun every morning. Nearly every morning workout consists of either running or lifting. Campers are put into running groups the first day of camp, and they are with that group every morning and night session. Each group does a different run or lift than the other groups, and each group's activity varies based on that day. Our coaches are alongside the campers for each run and lift to push the athletes to their limit and make them better every step of the way. Before every session, we check every camper to make sure they are properly prepared. That includes proper clothing, wrestling and running shoes, a filled water bottle, and assigned workbook activities completed. This is one way that we teach wrestlers that they are accountable for their actions. After the morning workout, athletes must shower before going to breakfast. We provide three all-you-can-eat meals every day to make sure the campers have enough energy throughout the entirety of the camp. The next session starts at approximately 10 a.m., so the campers have enough time to rest before the next session. The 10 a.m. practice is typically our technique practice. At every technique practice, wrestlers are learning the many different moves and wrestling positions that are needed to make a great wrestler. With a camper to staff ratio of 10 to 1, your wrestler is sure to learn a variety of different techniques from our coaches that come from across the U.S. One way that we do things differently from every other camp in the country is that we consistently teach focus and work ethic and practice habits. Not only do we teach these fundamental wrestling techniques, but we teach them how to train so that they can take these habits home with them after camp to continue their development. After practice, the athletes must shower again before heading to lunch at roughly 12.30. It is important that the campers refuel and rest during this time before coaches and campers get back on the mat at roughly 3 o'clock for the day's hard practice. This practice is designed to dial up the intensity. Hard drilling, live wrestling, and conditioning exercises are the main focus of the hard practice and are meant to push the campers to their limits, both physically and mentally. Although this is the hardest practice of each day, it is also the most rewarding. In this session, you will learn how to deal with adversity when you are tired and maintain focus and intensity during the practices. After hard practice, coaches and campers go to dinner and rest from the grueling hard practice. Although the day is almost complete, the campers need to refuel for one final practice, which begins at roughly 7.30. During the breaks and throughout the day, the campers are assigned workbook exercises which they must complete. These assignments include goal setting exercises, personal development exercises, different readings, and other lessons. These assignments are checked during roll call before each session. Prior to the final session of the day, campers typically listen to speeches given by our camp directors, senior coaches, and group leaders. Many topics are discussed including leadership, mental attitude, nutrition, goal setting, personal development, service, and many others. Each session lasts 30 to 40 minutes. Campers are required to focus and are encouraged to take notes on these topics to retain the information and gain valuable life lessons. The last practice session of the day lasts from roughly 7.30 to 9.30. During this session, wrestlers are in their running groups and review the day's technique. This allows the coaches to reiterate some of the finer points of each technique showed throughout the day. Some groups may also take part in another run or lift to end the day on a good workout. 
After the final session and the campers are showered again, they typically congregate in the dorms and can visit the camp store, watch a movie in the lounge, and hang out with the other coaches and campers. Bed checks are at 11 p.m. and the campers need to get their rest before they get up the following morning to do it all over again. We hope this video has been a big help to you and helps you understand our curriculum and philosophy here at J. Robinson Intensive Camps. Please visit our website at jrobinsoncamps.com for more information and get in touch with us for any additional questions you may have. We hope to see you this summer.